Yeah, I, well, you know, I'm working with my church. We do a live stream every week. Um, a couple people have, have wanted us to provide not only a wide shot, but a close-up shot of the pastor while he's he's preaching. And, you know, funds are tight. You know, we're a small church. So I have a bunch of phones laying around, and I found this app. Um, and it's working pretty good. It's uh, You can do it over the Wi-Fi, which I wouldn't recommend because there is some lag. But uh, using a USB cable or an um, Apple cable for either phone, it works really well. It su actually works surprisingly well. It's called IV Cam. Um, there's a piece that you install on your PC. There's a piece you install on the phone. And then um, to make the uh, Apple version work, you need to have iTunes on the PC. And the iTunes is what c connects the two via USB. Hmm. And the great part is you can take that right into um, – oh, my brain just stopped. Uh, the streaming software. OBS. Help me out. OBS. Chilly, you were OBS? Uh, OBS. Yeah, you can take it right into OBS. As another as another source. So do you have to, you have um, to install like an NDI driver, or is it just right in there? Just right in there. It just works. You know, it, you just you just pull it down from the drop down IV cam, and it just works. Nice. Yeah, and and it's great too because actually on the phone you can zoom in, you can zoom out. You know, you can get it to exactly where you want it, and it's just another camera. So, and if, and, you know, I don't know about everybody else, but I have a bunch of cameras laying around mm -hmm. or phones laying around. And so now I have ca all the cameras I could ever need, I guess. So I was using something similar called Epoch Cam, E-P-O-C-H -E Cam. Um, yeah, but... in the article I found this, that was mentioned. So, so I... And that's now owned by Elgato, I think. Ooh, interesting. I hopefully it becomes more reliable because I was having a little bit of problem with it. So... But it's I did of... read I did read a number of bad reviews around it. The, yeah. What led me to Epoch Cam was they touted that they were one of the lowest latency wireless mm -hmm. plugins for OBS. That's but... a big thing. Yeah, that's a big thing too because if it's coming over, you know, it, it you know. So my thing is, how do I use my phone? I want to use my phone to stream, but I wanted to go to a computer so I have a little more flexibility. And all my webcams in, in a situation where I don't want to drag a big camera home and do the whole hookup, right? Um, you know, and, and I gave away all my good webcams to everybody. So, uh, and you can't buy anymore. So, I don't know. Maybe you can now. Well, and that's the thing with the shortage of webcams right now. This is actually, if you use the cable, I'm telling you, it's great. Yeah, no, that's um, great. It's it. There's no latency whatsoever. It works so, very uh, surprisingly so well. So that's well, I. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Well, Are you using like a normal um, cable one? Like or like? Do you have? So I'm looking. So one of the things that we wanted to also do for CNJ plays games is the Mario Kart Live. Mm. But I want to be able to like tail the car around the room in tandem with the screen view. Yeah. And I'm thinking I might be able to make it work with a 10 foot cable. I don't know if you've played with any of the extra long cables. Does that have any impact on? Uh, yeah, I, I can't imagine it would, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know the length of like USB. I mean, I've used a couple extenders, but we're t I mean, I might go 10 foot, um, you know, or 12 feet. Uh, when I've used them, so I haven't seen any problems yet, but I don't know if I was doing video streaming like that necessarily. So, oh, it's all data, right? So, 